Hi everybody. In this episode, we're going to talk about balance, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about symmetry and finally using natural frames. Do you ever look at an image, and uh, you're looking at the image and you just don't have a good feeling. You feel a little unbalanced. Something isn't quite right. It's disjointed. I have found that in my images, a lot of them. Now, I often like to use the rule of thirds or place my subjects a little off-center. It's kind of boring to dead center the bullseye all your images, as we talked about in an earlier episode on composition with framing. However, sometimes a photo with a large or prominent subject, the main subject, positioned according to the rule of thirds or positioned off-center can create an image that looks tilted, too heavy on one side, unbalanced, disjointed. Of course, this is subjective and you, as always, are the ultimate judge. All right, But I have found that with my own photography, my underwater photography, sometimes if I can find another object of lesser importance, maybe a distant diver or a piece of seaweed or anything, sometimes that will balance the weight of my main subject and make the all, overall image more appealing. All right, And uh, this is what we're going to talk about initially, and let's dive in and look at some examples. Okay. Here's the eye of a moray eel, positioned according to the rule of thirds. It's okay, but all the empty space, uh, you know, makes the picture feel a little bit unbalanced, in my opinion. Where here, whereas here I have the eye of a lizard fish in the opposite side, upper uh, right third of the uh, image, but it's kind of balanced by a shot of the teeth in a diagonal orientation to the lower th uh, left third. I think it's a uh, a little more balanced and somewhat more pleasing uh, image. Again, a nice beautiful orange sponge with a dive buddy, a decent diver profile in the left lower third, a lot of beautiful empty open water in the right, a little unbalanced. Whereas now, in my opinion, this image is just better balanced. A couple other examples. Here I took a self-portrait with my a wide angle lens of myself and uh, would be a little unbalanced, except for I was lucky enough to get part of the sun, a sunset in a little boat, uh, much more distant uh, and further back to the opposite side of the image, and some clouds in the upper left kind of balances the image. Again, this eye of an angelfish in the upper right third of the image is somewhat balanced by the uh, little appendages in the lower l left of the image. <clears throat> and again, my dive buddy in the lower right uh, balances the school of Barracudina in the, uh, you know, taking up the main subject of the image in the um, upper third. And finally, the coral in the lower right, the large subject, is somewhat balanced by my dive buddy in the upper left. So just a couple of ideas showing a balance. <clears throat> Let's talk a little bit about symmetry. Now, a symmetrical image looks the same on one side as it does the other, either right or left, upper or lower. When showing symmetry, this is an excuse to break the rule of thirds or the off-center rule. Uh, obviously, with symmetrical images, we usually do want to center the image. Many animals have bilateral symmetry, where the mid-sagittal plane of the animal divides the animal equally into two mirrored images, left and right. And symmetry can furthermore be emphasized if your subject has very prominent lines or shapes, which I'll show you some examples of. Finally, Radial symmetry is often found in some animals who, um, where the, uh, their, their bodies are arranged equally from a central axis so that several planes passing through the center can somehow divide the animal into equal mirrored halves. We find this in echinoderms like urchins, uh, sea stars, things like that, and other invertebrates like jellyfishes or um, sea anemones, and sometimes in objects like the eye, of course, or maybe even a coral polyp, you know, depending on your angle of view. So let's check out some examples of using symmetry in our images underwater. And here's a couple examples of uh, symmetry uh, showing this uh, shot of this fish straight on, showing the symmetry between the right and left of the image. Uh, symmetry showing the various parts of the yellow line arrow crab here. And sometimes, as I said, uh, objects or subjects with strong lines or shapes are good for symmetrical images like this face of a scorpion fish or this beautiful shot of a symmetrical image of a scorpion fish taken by my dive buddy Carl Matisse on a recent trip to Indonesia. Here the symmetry shows across the horizontal dimension in the upper and lower part of the image, the lips and teeth of a parrotfish. And here again divided right and left, teeth and mouth of a lizardfish. 
and the little appendages that pop through a super macro shot of the eggs of a peacock mantis shrimp. <clears throat> and then, as I said before, uh, brittle stars or echinoderms can have radial symmetry. The eye can be radially symmetrical, or portions of a coral can be symmetrical. We're almost done, but finally, we can sometimes find a natural frame underwater to surround some or all of our subject and give our image, perhaps, a better sense of balance or organization or stability. Let's check out some examples. And here's a few examples of finding a natural frame to further confer some balance or harmony to our images. Here's my wife on a wreck, um, my dive buddy on a wreck being framed. Uh, this is at Sweepstakes in Tobermory. <clears throat> Another natural frame of these two uh, shrimp in a sponge here or an artificial natural frame that I blurred when this uh, and opened my aperture to let this uh, part portrait of a seahorse. Uh, here's we found a little mirror underwater and I got a natural frame of my dive buddy and a seaweed blenny and another example of a natural frame of a eel. So just some examples of finding a natural frame underwater. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you found this little tutorial helpful. Creating a sense of balance or symmetry, or using a natural frame, are composition guidelines that can often be used to enhance the appeal of our underwater images. So thanks for your attention.